any government, any society that doesn't put family first will fail. Hi there and welcome to the Lavo. Uh, we are actually back in uh, the Eastern Forest, the nature reserve here in the Eastern Forest. And uh, just an overnighter, uh, I'm here with my son. And uh, we have the Lavo and we have the stove. It's, uh, it's actually February, but inside the Lavo now it's, it's almost too warm. Uh, we're going to we are boiling some water and we're going to have some dinner um, it's totally pitch black so I will do the filming um, tomorrow and I hope you uh, will join me I'm going to talk a little bit about something that uh, I feel is important as well so uh, uh, stay stay with us here and uh, yeah now we're going to have some dinner. Now I'm outside of the tent actually. So elsewhere pitch black. And this is our wonderful labo. Hi there and uh, good morning. It's uh, about six o'clock uh, in the morning and we will have daylight in uh, I think about 30 minutes. So I'm boiling up some water on the stove here and uh, uh, we want to be ready quite early this morning. Um, and uh, so yeah boiling up some water, my son is still sleeping um, and uh, yeah what can I say uh, I didn't sleep well I usually do but uh, my pillow <laughs> uh, got a bit stuck and I slept with my head in an angle um, it's been uh, wonderful to hear the ice um, uh, speaking <laughs> through the night, uh, talking, uh, because it's it's breaking up and uh, uh, different pieces are making sounds when they move against each other. Uh, so it's it's this otherworldly sound, and it's very fascinating. Uh, let me show you how this uh, stove and everything works. Okay, so <clears throat> keep in mind that I carried everything. The lavo and the uh, sleeping bag and food and water and, and the stove and the chimney. And uh, it's very lightweight. I don't like to carry heavy a heavy backpack. It gets warm really, really fast. Um, and we are boiling up some water. Yeah. <laughs> I also have this stick here um, where I can 
and put some pants in my my socks from yesterday. <laughs> do, oops, like this. I am watching the ice breaking up. We will have an early spring here in Norway this year. And the changing of the seasons very often gets me thinking about how we move through seasons as well as human beings. I am now a father and I have been for quite a few years and it is the most important job I've ever had it's the most important job I will ever have being a father and that goes for all fathers and if you're a woman being a mother is obviously the most important job you'll ever have I am witnessing how the family is under attack in uh, Western Europe and uh, North America. And that troubles me. We have a generation now, mo many of them grew up without a father. They never had a chance to learn how to be a man and and uh, neither to be a father and that worries me and if you are one of you can hear that it's the ice it, it's it's been making these otherworldly sounds all through the night um, as I was saying, if you are one of those who grew up without a father, I just want to say that it, I'm in no, I'm not trying, it's not your fault, you know, so I'm not trying to say that you can't be a man or you can't be a father. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that, well, actually you, you might turn out as a better father and, and better man than others just because you are aware of this um, but the family is under attack um, I have some ideas so about why but I think that any government any society that doesn't put family first will fail. A society based on uh, the family is it's a recipe for success, right? And we know this, we know this from history. I mean, you break up the family, you will be breaking up 
the fabric of society, actually. I think that most men will be happiest as fathers who are present in their children's lives. And I believe that women need to understand that. One of the most disgusting acts a woman can commit is to prevent uh, the father from seeing his children. And that is happening quite a lot. It's unforgivable. I understand that there are cases when, you know, the, the father can't see his children because, I don't know, maybe he's like a violent criminal or something like that. But, but in, you know, in like almost all cases, that's not the case. So children need their fathers. And I'll tell you this. If you are one of those guys who wake up one uh, one day and you realize that oh my my son and my daughter uh, they they they've grown up now they have their own lives they they're adults they uh, and I wasn't there I missed their whole childhood Don't let that happen to you it will be a very heavy burden to carry. A burden that you will have to carry for the rest of your life. So be present. If you're like 17 or 18 years old, I know it's not, it's not on your mind yet. So, and that, that's okay. That's only natural. But um, just keep in mind that you will get there and I don't know. I'm just out here in the middle of a nature reserve in Norway and uh, rambling. <laughs> but I just wanted to say this because I'm out here with my son and um, and I think uh, he's having a wonderful time. We've been hiking for quite some distance as well. And, uh, yeah, this will be one of those wonderful memories from his childhood. And it is, it, it is, and it, it will be a wonderful memory for me as well, of course. Yeah, but okay, I will stop talking now. Um... I moved away from the camp a little bit because I, I felt this was kind of, you know, adult talk. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I must say I'm I'm really happy with the the little lavo and the stove and the chimney and the, and everything. It's uh, I think it's the best camp setup I've ever had. Uh, and I I know you will be asking. So uh, this is the Seek Outside Cimarron. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And uh, the titanium stove and. Inside it's also from Seek Outside and I'll put a link to that in the video description. It's uh, it's lightweight, which which matters. I carried everything in here and I didn't I didn't have a heavy heavy backpack, so yeah. Four people can sleep there and um, it gets very warm when you fire up the stove. It gets very warm. And, uh, and dry as well. So, yeah, I'll give you a close up of uh, the interior. Okay, let's get inside here. Good morning. <clears throat> okay, here's the stove. 
and uh, that, that's just a stick um, where I dried my socks and uh, I've been sitting here um, but I slept here so I moved the, the sleeping pad outside of the nest this is the nest as you can see um, and it's it has this bathtub water tight water sealed floor and uh, bug in that thing and you just pull up the zipper there and close the whole thing and there's a the white thing there is a liner so that you don't get any condensation that being said um, we didn't have any on this side either it's a half liner so it's only half the uh, to say weight and on, only half the level has the liner where we sleep and so room for two in here and uh, here's the chimney goes up there and carbon uh, pole adjustable height and yeah here's the uh, ventilation yeah so I must say I am very happy very happy with my uh, lavo uh, the problem with the lavos I've had before is that uh, they are too heavy and this one with the the stove and chimney and everything that I showed you now I think it, uh, uh, it's uh, 3.2 kilos so it's that's not bad at all Okay, so we're off for an early start. Going to take down the lavo, get the lavo and the stove in my backpack, and uh, and then we are off. I can see the car now. <laughs> I am a little bit tired. I think we both are and well, we have walked 
um, I think it's 12 miles, 12, 11 or 12 miles, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did then give it a like and, uh, and uh, maybe consider uh, writing a comment, subscribing and, and all that. Uh, <laughs> I'm just just rambling now. <laughs> okay, a wonderful day. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.